It's a rainy April 13th, 2022. I'm gonna try to do me a catch, clean, and cook brown trout. So, <coughs> there's a Av9 Rapala. This thing smoked that little rainbow trout. Come on! Woo-wee! <laughs> Fuck yeah! So first thing I do once I'm far enough away from the water, you gotta get so many feet to dispatch the trout. I go up in the inlay, up in the vent, straight up the belly like so. Okay. And if you're in the field like I am, but I'm far enough away from the water, you just take that. You got to leave the head on so that way um, DEC can measure it or whatnot if they have to. Let me go get a tape measure, show you how long this son bitch is. So this girl here, or guy here, actually, it was a male, is 21 inches long. Whenever I plan on eating the trout or the fish I'm going to take, I always bring ice to keep it good and fresh. So I'm gonna put some gloves on because I got a wound on my hand, so. I tipped over the snowmobile a couple weeks ago and it ain't healed yet. So I got my big old 21 inch brown. I'm, I plan on utilizing the skin and the smoker inside some salmon dip. But we do eat the skin, so we gotta bring it over to the sink and get it scaled up. All I do to scale it, get some cold running water. You're just going against like that and they come right out. Just rinse them off after. All right, so now I'm gonna fillet it out. We already did this after we caught it. I like to start here, go above the backbone, all the way up the tail like this. This is a guide. Same thing on this side, but all I'm doing is cutting right straight through my ribs, following the backbone up. Okay. Flip it, do the same thing on this side, right here. Hold on. I'm gonna go through and I'll spoon out these ribs. I'm gonna grab the other filet knife. Just go on the, right here on the outside of these. Cut them in. And you're just spooning out the ribs. small roll pins there I'll cut on either side of those and get them all right so all trout and salmon got a roll of pin bones that run from the vent about three quarters of the way up to the back and they're at an angle like this all I do is cut on either side and you just start working that strip out that's it that's got your pin bones so now I got two lays skin on pin bones removed no bones in it now they're ready to go in the brine we're gonna make some brine so for the brine use a tough work container with a lid so you can put it in the fridge overnight 24 hours i got two cups of water i got a quarter cup of kosher salt or sea salt i got one cup of sugar you can use brown sugar i See, there's no real difference between the brown and the white. Just goes a little bit more with the brown. I'm using an eighth of a cup of soy sauce, eighth of a cup of lemon juice, and it looks 
like we're going quarter teaspoons here. So I'm gonna go quarter teaspoon of onions, quarter teaspoon of black pepper. If I got enough left in here, oh yeah, I do. Right there. Quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. Now if I was doing this just to eat the salmon itself, I would add about a quarter cup of maple syrup, but I'm doing it for a salmon dip or brown trout dip. So I'm gonna put in about two tablespoons of barbecue sauce. That's it, I stir that up. And then I'm gonna put the uh, brown trout in there, stick it in the bottom of the fridge with a lid on it, 24 hours. Get the brown trout. Please lay them down. I usually do skin side up. Doesn't make a difference. Make sure they're completely submerged in the brine. That's it. Put a lid on that some bitch. Stick it in the fridge. The brown's been in the brine for 24 hours, a little over 24 hours. Now I'm gonna take them out. Take these out. Look at them nicer the color is and I'm gonna place them skin side down on my smoker rack now I got to place on my smoker tray I'm gonna take some apple wood rub grill mates makes it it gives the trout a little bit of a barbecue taste that goes really good with the dip I'm just gonna coat it then I'll take her outside and put her in the smoker here we go. I'm smoking up nice. I'm gonna put these on the top rack inside my smoker. Just got some hickory chips going. So there we go. Brown trout's all smoked. We bring it inside and chop her up. You just shred the brown right off the skin like that. It comes out nice and flaky. Got the meat all shredded off the skin. Now I'm gonna cut the skin off and kind of tear it, cut it into small pieces. Kind of like this. I just put the two skins together and I'll just kind of just kind of rip them up like this in small pieces. So the super crispy skins all cut up. You have some hard chunks and stuff, crispy chunks from the smoker. Don't worry about it. The cream cheese and sour cream soften it right up. I mix the skin right in with the meat and then try to mix it in so it's all evenly distributed. If you've never had smoked brown trail, I recommend that, that brine mix right there and try it. This shit, just like this, is amazing. It doesn't taste fishy at all. It's super sweet. It's like barbecue chicken almost. It's good shit. So to assemble the actual dip itself, you need 16 ounces of cream cheese, some sour cream, black pepper, chives or leeks doesn't matter fresh dill red onion a lemon you're going to use the zest and the juice garlic powder wasabi i like using the wasabi sauce some soy sauce and of course your smoked brown trout i start by softening the 16 ounces of cream cheese in the microwave cream cheese is good and soft now i'm going to add my half a cup of sour cream now i'm going to add my chives so when you buy them they usually come in bundles like that or if you pick them yourself it's up to you. I use the entire thing. It doesn't have to be exact. I'm just gonna chop them up small. Normally I would add the red onion to this recipe, but because I got such a big pile of leeks and scallions, I'm not adding the, uh, the red onion to this recipe. I'm just gonna use my, my leeks here and that'll be it. I'm gonna mix them into the sour cream and cream cheese. Now I'm gonna take my dill only a small portion of the container. And I'm gonna chop that up nice and fine. We're gonna add that in. Gonna <laughs> gonna zest and juice one lemon. So to that, I added a tablespoon of black pepper, about three quarters of a tablespoon of garlic powder, a tablespoon of wasabi sauce I use, and a half a tablespoon of soy sauce. Now I'm gonna mix that all together and then add 
the smoked trail to that at the end. So that one 21 inch brown trail made up for three of these, three of these platters. I got them all prepped up, ready to rock and roll to eat. That is the way to cook a brown trail. If you've never tried it, I recommend it. Thanks for watching. Mm.